first app is an application that you can use to control music even when your phone is in your pocket. It is called Volume and what this application does is allowing you to play next song or previous song by long pressing on your volume up and down buttons. So even when your screen is off or your phone is in your pocket, as I mentioned earlier on, you can easily navigate through your music. Of course, the premium version of this application gives you access to other actions and clicks, but for the basic function, you can enjoy this app very well. It is a very useful tool which, if you haven't seen yet, then be sure to try it out. Next on the list is Notification Dictionary, and this application comes in handy when you want to find the meaning of any word you come across, provided that word can be long pressed and highlighted. So whether in the browser or on WhatsApp, or anywhere you can highlight the text, in the options, find meaning, and you get a pop-up notification with the explanation of the word, which you can tap to expand and read, copy, share, and will also be read out loud. This is a light and simple but very useful Android application that stays in the background and works very well whenever it's needed. It is also free to install so if you want to try it out, you'll find a link in the description of this video. Another useful application which will enhance your user experience is this application which goes by the name Tab Scroll. And if you haven't come across it yet, this application takes you to the top of any scrollable screen with just one tap on the status bar and to the bottom by double tapping also on the status bar. This is such a great and useful feature which is time saving and also convenient. There are other gestures to perform certain tasks like long pressing, swiping left or right and for the actions, you can set any of the gestures to go back, home, open recent apps, turn on flashlight, open the notification panel and more. Super status bar is another useful tool which also works with the status bar and I personally use the features of this application all the time. With this application, you can increase your phone brightness by swiping forward or backwards on the status bar which is a fantastic feature to have because you wouldn't have to swipe down to your notification panel before controlling your screen brightness. The slider can also be set to control media volume and other sound profiles. Also, this application allows you to turn off your screen with some gestures. Personally, I've set double tapping on the status bar to turn off the screen. Again, with this application, there are several actions that can be performed with other gestures. Battery bar in this application shows you the battery progress which can be customized, you know, the height, color, alignment, there is also charging animation. Trust me, it is a pretty cool application to have on your Android smartphone. You can turn on your smartphone into a smart display whenever you are charging it with this application which goes by the name Standby Mode Pro. The app is filled with different clock styles which takes the full screen in landscape mode. Aside automatically opening when you insert your charger, you can also open it even when your phone is not charging. There is dual mode which displays clock on one side of the screen and other widgets like music players, photo or calendar on the other side of the screen. Swipe up or down for different clock styles, swipe left or right for different widgets. This could be pretty useful when you work on your desk. It is a free app to install, so if you love to have it, it is available in the Play Store. Link is in the description of this video. As an Android user, you should take full control of your device and actually have more knowledge on the device you are holding, especially on the system level. You can do this with the help of this application called Testy. Features of this application are super useful. It kind of gives you the system level information about your device and gives you more management options. You can see a general dashboard which displays the current state of your RAM, storage, network and battery, and also the CPU. The best part of this application for me is the test tab, which allows you to perform tests on various system tools and radios in your device to make sure everything works perfectly. You can test your screen and touch various sensors to see if they work properly, even biometrics to check if your fingerprint sensor works as it should. So you can go on and try, it is a pretty useful feature. This application also has various important tools like code scanner, screen recorder, a ruler and more.
So we sort of provide an all-in-one solution to device usability. And finally, this application lets you manage applications you've installed on your device. It shows you how each app is working. So this is an awesome application which can be very useful from time to time. It is a free application, so be sure to try it out. Moving on, with an app called Visual Timer, you can say goodbye to the old style stopwatch. This application provides a quick and easy way of setting up a timer while giving you a visual representation to wait to see exactly where you are. Personally, it is an awesome experience seeing real passage of time made possible by the animation that is displayed during the countdown. You can set up and save countdown presets easily. That way, with just one click, you can enter countdown of a particular activity. And then we have Countdown Widgets. And with the previous application counting down smaller daily movements, Countdown Widgets counts down events that are days or months ahead, also with an amazing visual experience. It is a very simple to use application. Tapping on the plus button lets you create or enter an upcoming event by entering the title and even adding notes. Theme selection is my favorite part. You can choose to count down days, weeks or months. You can also choose the days to count down. So let's say the event is a recurring weekly event. You can choose the specific day. You can configure what period of the countdown should the widget circle begin to decrease. Once you save your event, you can bring the event widget to the home screen. And this widget boldly displays the number of days left, which is kinda cool. So that's the app Countdown Widgets, link to it is in the description of this video. Next on the list is Habbo. Now this application I've been using personally for a while now, not for video review, but it is an application that helps me keep track of my daily workout routine. You can use this application by simply adding a habit and detailing it. Tapping on the day will bring a drop down menu where you can hit the check mark if you delivered on the routine or habit, you can take a break or leave a comment. You can always go back and see how far you are faring when it comes to the particular routine or habit. You can also add multiple routines as well. Try out this application, it is free, link is in the video description. For those of you who still haven't heard of this awesome application, well, Seal is an incredible app for downloading audio and video from YouTube and other media streaming platforms. You can download only audio from a YouTube video, video only, or both audio and video. You can also download an entire YouTube playlist with just a click, and that too, whether audio only or both audio and video. Seal gives you several download options that is never seen before in any application. With the downloads, you also have various audio and video formats and sizes available to choose from. Trust me, this application is a lifesaver with simple actions of copying video link into the application or sharing the video or audio to the app. Works with YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and a few other platforms that support YT DLP. Let me know what you think about these apps that I mentioned and also some of your favorite Android applications. And guys, I'm trying to build a community here so I would appreciate if you consider subscribing to the channel and also like my videos and share them if you're interested in the kind of content that I make. As always, thank you for watching.